you go. Yay! We did it. So teamwork makes the dream work. Woohoo! So good evening and welcome to Pound Posse Presents. Uh, Got to have the official greeting for the recorded version um, as opposed to just the hey I'm struggling on live TV version because that's always way so much fun. <sighs> anyway, it is what it is. It's live TV. I say it all the time. Um, things are going to happen, things that I can't fix, and, um, you know, because it's like just it records, I upload it onto YouTube. It is, you're going to see it on YouTube just exactly how it happened live. So, um, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. I've never edited a single show. Uh, and it shows. No, really. <laughs> Zach's in there laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I say? Um, I don't know. Uh, so where do I begin now that, you know, we've had all this fun? So we're still having the furniture issue. I'm no closer. I think I'm being really, really so picky. I know in my head um, what's going to work and what I want. And I just can't find it. There's still that one set that got away, um, and there's nothing I can do about that. There was another sort of potential, and you know I wasn't crazy about it, so that slid, and that's fine. I'm gonna find something that I really like, and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the furniture here. But for now, um, it's really getting prohibitive because there's you know I want to do like some things and you know I, I don't have the proper tools so if anybody knows of you know any furniture that they want to point me in the direction of I appreciate it and um, thank you to the people who have been messaging me and, and trying to give me heads up and and all that for stuff that might work for um, what I need it to here all right so um Last week we did not have a show, and that was planned, but unfortunately plans changed. Uh, we were supposed to be tabling at an event for the first time, um, but instead earlier in the week, guess who was back in the ER with her asthma, so it was just a really ugly week, and there was no way that I was physically um, able to manage uh, doing that so it was a weekend at home and you know staying close to breathing treatments and medications and being able to rest and and you know it, it's breathing is underrated I think unless you ever couldn't breathe um, I think you, you you probably don't understand just the magnitude of not being able to and unfortunately, um, you know, the ER trips are becoming more and more frustrating because really all they want to do is admit me and that's not an option for a lot of reasons. But, you know, when you have pets at home, <laughs> where are you going with that? So anyway, um, that's, that's where we stand there. Um, fortunately, I am feeling a little more under control physically, but I'm on a whole lot of medication, and that's got its own loads of fun, but, um, you know, apparently, I guess it's a good thing on paper, I'm, I'm probably a lot better off than I thought I was, but, you know, still no real understanding of what's making things get so out of control, and trust me, it's not that I'm not um, taking care of myself uh, to my, the best of my ability, so going forward we're just gonna have to hope that I manage because it's really really hard to do very much um, even the show when you can't breathe because you know talking requires breathing and um, there have been nights I really couldn't pull it off so um, we've put in the paperwork to renew for another season and uh, that will close soon and we'll have our news as to you know whether we're staying on the air at the same time and all that, and um, hopefully that'll be the case. You know, we're kind of a few years into it now. Um, be nice to stay put. Uh, 
there's some really good news that I can open tonight with. And uh, it's like one of those, oh, I think I got something in my eye kind of things. Let's get Frankie up. And this dog, Frankie, uh, he has waited, you know, a couple of years to find his happily ever after. He's had a team of the most amazing people, uh, as you can see the volunteers here, and um, my dear, dear friend, uh, John Esposito of Murdoch fame, uh, was on Team Frankie, and Frankie is now home. Uh, he had, you know, I, I'd aired him a couple of few times, and um, he had some special, I don't want to say special needs, but he had some special requirements um, in a home and was really kind of a niche dog. And, you know, the miracles that do happen once in a while when these harder to adopt, these harder to place, they're not even hard to adopt, they're hard to place because they're, you know, th they have special things that they require of a home. But uh, he, he was, he found his miracle and these folks never gave up. Um, proud to say I've got one of those shirts um, at home because John is just really cool. And um, it's just the most amazing news when a dog gets to go home, especially one that's waited uh, so long. So yeah, it's, it's been uh, kind of all over Facebook today. Uh, and, you know, the best I always hope for is that it sticks because, you know, you see so many adoptions that for one reason or another, they don't. Um, a lot of times it's because the people try to rush things, you know, the new home. And, you know, I think that there would have been some very lengthy conversations and, you know, this would have absolutely had to be the right thing. You know, I'm, I'm not saying... Um, you know, hoping it sticks in trying to um, say that anybody involved would have, you know, not given it the best shot. I'm just saying I see it all the time. I mean, look at poor Max was in a home and, you know, the guy just screwed him all up and back Max went. Um, and that's on, you know, for, for all of the best efforts of the volunteers and the people at the shelter, uh, you can't tell people something sometimes and can't tell people anything sometimes. They want to do things their own way. And, uh, you know, it, it's hard to know when everybody's giving you the yes, 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 yes. And, you know, they go home and do whatever they want. But that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about Frankie went home and, you know, oh, just so beautiful. And I know that it's crazy because right you, you're a volunteer at the shelter and you see these dogs every day i mean like i know john went every day to visit frankie and to walk him so did the rest of these folks and um you know it becomes so much a part of what you do in your routine and you get so attached and you know then they go home and it's what you have wanted for the whole time but by the same token you end up with a huge void because, you know, you, you were putting so much time and effort and love into, um, you know, this particular animal. And I know that when I took my trip to the town of Hempstead Animal Shelter, um, you know, John was sitting right out front there like you see them now. And he, he and Frankie were just chilling. And it was, you know, a beautiful thing to see, you know, just a, a guy and a dog and just, you know, out of the kennel time and, you know, a little fresh air and chilling and it, 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 it's what these volunteers are so amazing to do day in and day out they have you know their teams they have their their groups behind each dog and it's it just so heartwarming and this this right here um that you know final time to go home uh picture it's gold it really is so congratulations team frankie and um you know, looking for those happy updates because they're so important too. You know, it's it's one thing to send a dog off to a new home and it's entirely another to be able to get updates and, and know that, you know, know and see that the dog is just, it's thriving. Like, just like with Murdoch, that was a beautiful experience to be able to follow his story till the end. 
All right, anyway, so more from the town of Hempstead uh, Animal Shelter. We've got Jaguar, and look at this face. Please just tell me he's not just the cutest thing. He was picked up as a stray. His owners were found, and they didn't want him back because he'd been neutered. Let that sink in a little bit. They didn't want him back because he was neutered at the shelter. And that just, you know, what kind of home was that for him? What were their intentions with this poor dog that, you know, th was there no love? Was there no value to his life other than his man parts? I mean, that's just insane. And it was interesting because I saw a, a similar situation uh, when I was there um, with a couple who was, you know, they were basically raising um, all kinds of problems because they couldn't get their dog back until he was neutered. And I just, I, I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, Jaguar is about four years old. He's good with other dogs. He's fully vetted. He's absolutely adorable and thoroughly deserving of a real home. If you are interested in Jaguar, and how could you not be? Look at that face. Um, please contact the town of Hempstead Animal Shelter at 516-785-5220. Once again, that's 516-785-5220. <coughs> and here we're gonna go with, like my voice is gonna give out because that's medication, okay? But just bear with me. Um, next up, we've got Bunker, <coughs> and look at that beautiful face. I mean, how could you not fall in love with those eyes? He has just that quintessential pity face, and I just want to smooch him. Bunker has been at the shelter since December of 2017, and that's a long time to wait for forever. I'm pretty sure the shelter is better than where he was before, but it's still not home. Bunker is interested in other dogs, but isn't really sure how to go about making friends. So, you know, maybe the best thing for him would be like another dog who can show him the ropes, um, you know, teach him how to interact, how to make friends with other dogs, how to just be a dog, you know? Sometimes um, it, it's just not part of what a dog has experienced and the best thing for them going into a new home is a dog with a little bit of patience and a little bit of savvy and you know everything works itself out and so maybe that's what this guy needs so bunker has a personality to match his heart melting looks and if you want to check out his facebook page it's a forever family for bunker and you can also call the town of hempstead animal shelter at 516 785-5220-516-785-5220. Next up, we have poor Sally. Now, this is just really a sad story. Sally is the longest resident at the shelter. She entered as a stray in November of 2015 and, you know, at that point, she was failed by the people who were her family. <coughs> um, and except for a brief failed adoption, she's been waiting for her ticket into a real home ever since. That's just unimaginable that in all this time, like, nobody has really wanted this dog. I mean, how could that possibly be? Now, she's seven or eight years old. Sally knows what she needs in a home. She needs to be the only pet with no young kids. Um, you know, she needs someone to play ball with her. And that's like her second favorite thing right after being with people. So her needs are pretty simple, you know. Um, and again, she's kind of that niche adoption and pretty sure that just like Frankie, her home will be out there. 
uh, but she's waited an exceptionally long time. And, you know, if you're not able to give her the home that she needs, maybe you can go to the Pal and Posse Presents Facebook page and share her. Maybe you can go to her page, Adopt My Girl Sally, and share her page, invite your friends. Um, you know, again, her needs are really simple, but apparently very hard to find. Uh, to be an only pet, to be, you know, in, in a place where someone will give her all of the attention. And, you know, these dogs that need to be only pets, they're not bad dogs. They, they're just, that's who they are. And so, you know, uh, so many of us already have other animals and, you know, maybe have a lifestyle that includes you know extended family and pets and stuff like that and you know that is something that you have to consider uh you know if you adopt a, a pet that needs to be an only that really um puts a, a a grinding halt to you know having family over with with their pets or or going to visit with your pet um you know it's all a consideration and it's all of what kind of plays a part in that dynamic of it being such a very difficult placement to make. Uh, again, doesn't make it a bad dog, just makes it a very specific set of requirements. And so, you know, Sally is a great dog. She really deserves a chance. She's an older gal. Let's get her home. 516-785-5220, Town of Hempstead Animal Shelter. 516-785-5220. Next up we have Ruger. And Ruger is another face that I just want to love. He is a five-year-old sweetheart who needs a forever home where he can kind of get himself back on track. Ruger is that kind of dog that people love instantly and he returns the favor. He's a little overweight and, you know, he's got some food allergies and these things need to be addressed and they really should be pretty easy to take care of uh you know just requires a, a change of diet and uh, maybe a little exercise because you know he he does need to shed some pounds um hasn't he has not been um you know eating uh, the, the the way he should let's just put it that way and so yeah, he just kind of needs a little lifestyle tune-up and he will be fine. Uh, Ruger isn't too dog savvy, but he does have at least one doggy friend. So any potential housemates would need a meet up uh, just to see you know, how they do. Definitely no cats for this guy. So if you're interested in finding out more, you can visit Passion pause.org just like you see it at the bottom of the screen passion the number four pause.org next up we have juniper and you know juniper i'm going to talk about her every week till she finds a home uh she's still waiting for someone to give her a chance she is such a sweet and good girl her shelter buddies adore her uh, it's so hard to imagine why she's been waiting for over a year for a home. Juniper needs someone who will help her build her confidence in real life situations, someone who will give her lots of snuggles, and, you know, maybe even a canine companion who will help her learn how to really enjoy being a dog. Juniper Needs a Forever Home is her Facebook page. Once again, the town of Hempstead Animal Shelter, 516-785-5220. Next up, we have Bella. And Bella is a senior girl who loves people and sunshine. She, lo she is good with small dogs, but isn't a fan of cats. She's lived with children. Bella has nice leash manners and really doesn't ask for much. She'd be a very easy dog to have around. Bella is at Yonkers Animal Shelter. And if you are interested in Bella, you can call 201 981-3215. Once again, that's 201-981-3215. Wasn't there a second picture, Zach? Uh-huh. So there she is enjoying her sunshine on her bench. 
All right, so some events that we've got coming up. We've got tomorrow, the Sweet Pea Dog Walk. And that is at its usual place at the Barry Falls Dam in Hubbardston, Massachusetts. Uh, registration starts at 1030. It's really a very cool day. Um, you know, this is, in case you haven't been following the Juno news, this is Juno's um, retirement year. So after this year of doing like all of her regularly scheduled events, she's not gonna be out and about like she, you know, you're used to seeing her. So if it's on your bucket list to meet Juno, I suggest strongly that um, you find your way to one of her scheduled events this year and um, get your little hands on her tiny little hiney because she's not gonna be as available at all. She's gonna be still on Facebook and she will absolutely be ruling the roost um, as she is accustomed to, but she's just not gonna be making, you know, the rounds. Her, she's double digits in age and, um, you know, her mom has her best interests at heart and doesn't want to push her, um, you know, into a, a lengthy, uh, existence out in the public, um, out in the public, uh, because it could be detrimental to her at some point, and you know that's not what love is about. Next, we have Jameson's Jubilee, which is on June second from noon to four. That's at the Ludlow Elks Pavilion, sixty nine Chapin Street in Ludlow, Mass, with our dear friends from Jameson's Journey, and um, yes, Juno will be there as well. So once again, if you know, you're know you trying to catch Juno, here's another opportunity. Now, right here in Waterbury on Saturday, June 15th, from 10 until two, while supplies last, there is a no cost rabies clinic. Zach, come on, you should have been anticipating me, son. Um, <coughs> so this will be held at Waterbury Animal Control, 200 Municipal Road in Waterbury, Connecticut. The city clerk will also be there um, to process your um, animal licensing. And just keep in mind that one way or another, June is renewal time. So uh, this is quite timely. And um, you know, rabies vaccines are a requirement for licensing. So it uh, looks like they've got this pretty well put together uh, as far as you know, being able to kill uh, two birds with one stone, as the saying goes. And, um, you know, kudos to Waterbury for doing this. Uh, they've done it a time or two. And, you know, particularly here in town, um, you know, there's a great need for things like this because so many people ignore that responsibility. Um, rabies vaccine is the law. And you know, uh, there's certainly a lot to be said for um, arguments with you know over vaccinating and, and and all that. But this really has absolutely nothing to do with it. It brings you within the law. It's you know, if you've got a pet that has any contact with anything outside, um, you know, intentional or unintentional, uh, you know, you want your pet to be protected. Uh, you know, there's too many times where, you know, a, a house pet is, you know, outside and something's in its yard and, you know, there's the question of whether it has rabies and it, it becomes a thing. So, you know, there's a lot of layers, a lot of levels, a lot of reasons why um, it's law and there's a lot of the same for why it's just good common sense. And again, kudos for them having the city clerk on hand um, to process licen licensing because, you know, that's kind of another thing um, that I think gets very overlooked here in town. So, you know, trying to make it very easy for you. Um, you what you need to do is bring proof if you want the three-year shot that your dog is currently up to date um, and you can get that three-year vaccination if you have no proof or, you know, then you're stuck with the one year, but then you can move on to the three year after that. But anyway, Saturday, June 15th from 10 until two while supplies last, 
Uh, it's, a, it's a no cost clinic, but you know, not the licensing, that's a whole nother story. Um, this is a great opportunity here in the city of Waterbury. And again, it's going to be at Waterbury Animal Control, 200 Municipal Road. And if there are any questions, uh, their number is 203-574-6909. Once again, that's 203-574-6909 if you've got any questions. And so I'll take the camera back for now. As I mentioned, um, you know, Juno is retiring after this year. She'll still do some of her events, uh, particularly like, you know, the inside ones, the real big ones. I'm sure she'll be at Rock and Shock, stuff like that. But, you know, anybody who knows me at all knows, um, yeah, I'm a Juno. I'm a Juno fanatic, and um, she's my little diva friend, and I know that. Uh, I'll certainly miss her at events and you know maybe we can get her and mom on um, as part of their uh, farewell tour so to speak sooner than later so we can talk about that a little bit but uh, stay tuned and you know like I said if you're wa if you're wanting to meet her this is going to be your chance I'm going to say peace love and dogs until next week thank you very much for watching and have a great night